I'm going to show a very simple overflow method. I use it for smaller tanks like this one. It's a two and a half gallon. It can be used for a five or ten. But using this method, it uses less PVC than typical, but it does use some tubing. Here it is. It's half inch PVC, two T's that are glued together, and each side has a leg that sticks one down the exterior side and one leg into the tank. Now, as I reach in, you'll see that there's holes and a input filter that's been cut so it just slides up and down the leg so I can cover up the holes and let it overflow when there's fry in the tank or I can actually pull it down if I want a little higher flow and I have larger fish in the tank. But it just sits down in the side. I can easily lift it out of the water and I won't lose the water that's inside because each leg is just holding water and the bridge tube is what is going to keep the water level on each side the same. So as long as I don't lift it up completely water will remain. I fill it up using um, just stick the whole thing in a bucket of water and and once I have it in there it's done. So at the bottom the tube extends all the way from leg to leg from end cap to end cap and cut at an angle so that there's no blockage. Water then is then put from side to side. It doesn't really actually use the T's for water transfer. It's using the tubing, the bridge. Then I cut 11 30 seconds hole and I stuff the 3 8 inch tubing which is about a quarter inch inside diameter and it goes down the tube, goes down the drain. So water is then introduced into the tank with a dosing pump like this one and I have a secondary tank which I treat the water and it's got conditioned water, heated water or whatever I want it to do and it's sucked up into this tube and then through the pump and into the tank. So you can also use gravity if you see there's a tank behind this one I can use that one as well if the water level is higher. But simply put I am actually overflowing this tank the water level is going up and it has a good flow because of the size of the tubing that I'm using. So that's all there is to it. When the water level gets to a certain height, the same height as the exterior hole, water flows down. I hope this is very helpful because it's very simplified, uses a lot less PVC and it's less problematic for losing siphoning and there's never really any case where you might have a a siphon situation. The holes are as big as possible because now you see the water here is rising to the holes and I, I drilled several holes because I wanted as much flow going in as possible and I knew I'd be covering it with the intake filter sponge. But water really doesn't go through the T. It just goes through the bridge, comes into the exterior leg and then flows. As you can see, it flows. I hope you enjoyed this very simple way of seeing water going out of your tank.